we have now moved on to section 5, which covers questions 5 and 6. 5 says, for each combination of Greg's list in item 3, choose three appropriate triangle parts from item 4, and each student should create a triangle using these parts. Then use transformations to check whether every such triangle is congruent to triangle ABC. Use the table to organize your results. Then in question six, express regularity and repeated reasoning. Compare your results from item five with those of students in other groups. Then list the different combinations that seem to guarantee a triangle congruent to triangle ABC. These combinations are called triangle congruence criteria. This one's going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to go with a 15 minute time limit here. And again, you're trying to manipulate these using the pieces from the previous page. For instance, if I wanted to say side, 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 I would only be able to use figure four, five, and six. And I would want to see if that gives me a congruent triangle to triangle ABC. If I put those three pieces together. So you can manipulate your tracing papers to form your triangle and see if it creates that triangle that's congruent. So again, I'm giving you 15 minutes to work through question five and question six. Go ahead, pause your video. As you can see, the answers to questions number five and six have been provided. I went through and I worked. I put my three sides together and I said, well, that triangle will always be the same size as triangle ABC. I did side angle side and I used the different combinations and always got my triangle to be the same size as um, ABC. Angle side angle. I tried the different combinations here. Again, I got it to work every time. If we have angle angle side, so if I put one, two, and six together, I would always get the same triangle congruent regardless. Okay. However, if I chose to use the three angle pieces, I cannot always guarantee that my triangle is going to be the same measurement. Same thing if I use side side angle. If I use two sides and an angle that follows, I cannot necessarily guarantee that the triangles will always be congruent. So what I have come to learn is that there are four triangle congruence criteria that work. Side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. On to your debriefing question.